Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite summer fragrances for women. All of these fragrances fit this like summery, flirty vibe. I find they all have a certain sex appeal to them. In summer, I really like to wear fruity florals, so this list is largely composed of that, but I still want a fragrance that has good longevity, even if I'm wearing a fresher, lighter, lighter fruity floral fragrance. So these are fruity florals with performance for you ladies. So if that's something that you're interested in, continue watching the video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ashley. I've been living and working in Paris for the past 10 years as an apprentice perfumer. I have my master's in perfumery, and so if you're interested in fragrance reviews from an informed perspective, consider subscribing to the channel. So I promise performance, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Um, all of these fragrances are at least moderate wear. They do get stronger as I get close to the top of my list as I really like strong fragrance, but these bottom two that I'm going to be talking about, while still amazing fragrances, may only get about four hours of wear, at least that's what I get from them. So the first fragrance that I'm going to be talking about is Pichola by Nila Vermeer Creations. This fragrance is such a beautiful orange blossom with the orange as well. There's a lot of citrusy notes in addition to this like very petally orange blossom that I find so romantic. My visuals for this fragrance are, it's very much inspired by this lake in India. I live in Europe and so those are more of my references. I could just see myself like in a very stylish white dress in Lake Como, you know, with the lake breeze on me, bringing me all these Italian citruses, orange blossom flowers, billowing in the wind. Like that is the experience you get with this fragrance. It is so beautiful and so transportive. And again, to me, this fragrance is just romance. The bottle is beautiful. The fragrance is beautiful. It's such a special one. One to have in your collection. The next fragrance on my list is La Belle Hélène, um, Beautiful Helen, and this fragrance is certainly beautiful. You have this delicious pear mixed with a variety of florals, and you know, there's this Helen of Troy, right? This woman that sunk a thousand ships, and I could see her wearing this fragrance while she did this. To me, it's just the perfect fruity floral it melts beautifully with the skin it's very addictive just like the ratio of like pear to these abstract florals don't be afraid of like oh i don't like white floral or i don't like rose i really find the florals in this fragrance to be very abstract and just paired with this really delicious pear, which isn't always done right in perfumery. Sometimes it smells too green or too caramel, and here it just smells so fresh and ripe and perfect, and I think that's what makes it so great for summer. Also, those bottles are to die for. There's a little touch of spice, but it's, it's a spice that works well in summer because it's so gentle. I think it just adds another layer of sex appeal to this fragrance, which I think is also really hard to find with fresher fruity floral fragrances where sometimes they smell too girly and they lack an addictive factor and that's something that i feel all the fragrances have on this list is that they're also very addictive next on my list is mille and rose by lancome and lancome is really a brand that i slept on i think until i moved to paris um, it's huge out here and prior to this i kind of associated it with just like a different generation but they do a lot of amazing fragrances especially kind of in their private collection and that's where mille and rose um fits i never smelled the version from 2000 so i can't say if it's close to that version or not but what i can say is this fragrance is amazing on its own it is the perfect pink fruity petally rose it just smells so youthful and fresh um and by youthful i just mean like the rose is useful like a rose just in bloom this fragrance is absolutely ageless and again sometimes with like these fruity ethereal roses they last all of 15 minutes on your skin and here it has good performance there's kind of like this amber in the background that keeps this fragrance pulsating and going for a really long time and really contributes to the longevity of this fragrance and so if you want to smell as fresh as a rose this summer this is the pick number two on my list is tuberose du mexique um obsessed with this fragrance i have it in the fragrance and the body oil i find i lather myself in this body oil as like a base for a ton of stuff but i also love it as just it's 
Funny enough, for me, it is almost a Your Skin But Better scent, even though it's clearly tuberose, but it smells like such a natural tuberose that it melds great with skin and just smells like you are a girl who smells amazing. It doesn't necessarily smell like perfume. It smells like you just happen to run through a field of tuberoses and all of that delicious aroma clings to you now and this is the way you smell now and I love that allure to it. Um, just such a beautiful fragrance. It's a pretty pretty straightforward tuberose. It's not the super mentholated tuberose. It's much creamier, fresh, um, with a slight undertone of vanilla. This fragrance probably is very year-round, but tuberoses do tend to bloom between June and October, so they are a summer flower. And I just find this to be a great evening floral for summer. Um, Again, it has good projection, but it doesn't overpower. It is a fresher tuberose, and I think sometimes other than exotic white florals, it's hard to wear white florals in summer, even if they're supposed to bloom in summer. Like White florals can feel very heavy, and this one doesn't. It's warm and it's creamy, but it breathes, and it's still fresh and just incredibly sexy as well, and so addictive. Love this fragrance. If the perfume version is too much for you, the found the oil is very perfumed as well and beautiful for the season. Last on my list, we have Lust in Paradise by Ex Nilo. I actually started wearing this fragrance again for the first time today and was just reminded why I loved it so much last summer. Um, I sprayed it on and my boyfriend was like, that smells amazing. And I do find this fragrance similar to Delina, which I was wearing all spring and it was in my top um, spring for women video and I was like yeah it smells a bit like Delina right and he was like I think it smells better and Delina is one of his favorite fragrances on me so for him to think it smells better than Delina is something um, I don't know how, if I think it's better than Delina I think and he just smelled it you know kind of in passing I think I may prefer Delina to Lust in Paradise is like a year-round wear, and if you don't have Delina in your collection, start with that one. But if you do and you like this type of fragrance, I think Lust in Paradise adds this like tropical solar vibe to it. The lychee is more prominent in it, and there's also this like amber mixed with a lactone that gives it this coconut. Like I get a slight coconut vibe, um, not so much like a very sweet coconut, almost like the texture of the skin. So it just makes it just right for summer. Um, and if you're afraid of coconut notes, that doesn't mean don't try this. It's very much like a textural thing or an impression thing. It's like a tropical Delina. Delina went on vacation and she turned into lust in paradise. And I'm here for it. I absolutely love it. It has incredible longevity and projection. I spray this fragrance on and I know it's going to last me all day. And I'm going to smell, you know, like... It's almost like a Delina cocktail, you know? There is something boozy to it as well. Um, and it's still quite fresh because to me, with the biggest notes of this fragrance are the lychee and peony kind of on this tropical vibe base. So again, beautiful fragrance, worth checking out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this list of uh, my favorite summer fragrances for women for this year, 2022. I'm very curious to know what you are all wearing this summer, so please let me know in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.